Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a re-recording session of this game here. Well, at least the last 15 or 16 stages, excuse me, of this game. Because uh, I just wasn't really satisfied with the quality of my commentary as well as I made some editing mistakes and stuff like that. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is redoing this part portion here, uh, these last couple stages. Oh, poopers! And, um, yeah! <laughs> um, what I'm going to be doing, or at least I think I'm going to be doing at the time of recording, is I'm going to be saving the good parts of my older videos, the ones that I, uh, like, like, that I didn't deem to be very good, and just... Kind of like add them in with these videos, uh, or at least as I said, the good parts, not the bad parts, just the good parts. Um, oh shoot, I made a mistake there. You have to wait for that thing to go around once, so you'll be able to make a run up to the top towards the goal. Well, that's the trick to this one. So uh, yeah, this is the redoing of Super Monkey Ball 2, or at least just a portion of it. I hopefully, hopefully, this won't take too long to do. Um, because, you know, these stages are pretty dang hard, and at the time when I made the parts before, I was actually getting kind of frustrated by the gameplay because of how difficult it is. Oh, by the way, in case you don't realize, my life count is a lot higher than it was, um, compared to the last part. If you take a look at it now, I did a lot better on that stage cylinders. Yeah, that's pretty much where all my lives got sapped, was that stage alone. Urgh. But anyway, you gotta keep up your speed so you can, like, ah, oh, stay on top of the notch there. Or I should say, stay on top of that oval, like, cylinder and get up to the top. The, the name of the stage is kind of misleading. It says notch, but there is actually two notches carved out of it, so... What the heck? That's just illogical, and I do not condone that behavior. Ugh. So anyway, let's try this once more. Get up, get up, get up. Not enough speed, and I'm gonna fall off. Dang it! It's it's all about keeping the speed up, because if you if you go too slow, you're you're just gonna drift right off the whatever spinning thing that is right there into the abyss, and you're going to die. Luckily, the stage doesn't take too long, it's just that you always have to wait for it to go around once before you can get on it, because that's like the only way to get up to the top there. To, to my knowledge it is. Uh, looking good, looking good! Oh, so close! So very close! I can't believe that! Uh, come on, baby, we can do this. Believe in your monkey self. Believe in it. Oh my god, this is hard. Well, okay, it's not that hard. I'm just kind of mistiming it a little bit. Uh, ooh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. We can do it. No, oh, too far to the left. Oh, I pooped my diaper. Oh, okay, come on. Must relax. Must calm down. That's the key to beating Super Monkey Ball 2. That and pooping your diaper. That, that relieves stress as well. So, let's just wait for it, wait for it, and now go, I'll get it eventually, don't you worry. Or, wait, wait, wait. oh, I shouldn't let go of the control stick, I should've just kept pushing forward. Oh, poopers. Oh, another thing that I didn't like about my original parts was that I used way, way, way too many cuts. Was I was like, uh, I was, I was trying to do like a death montage, but the cuts are like, three to four seconds apart in some cases, so they were kind of like useless cuts in that way. So that that, that, that I didn't like as well, and it, and it even confused some people. Oh, I made it this time! Woo! So I, I'm going to try to minimize that this time around. And I finally made it past the stage, and now we're into the master. This is one of the stages that I accidentally cut off when I did the editing, and this is one that I intend to fix. Um, there's basically these little bumps at the edge of the, of the platforms, like that. See those little bumps there? You have to use those bumps to get across. You would like to hop over to the other side like so. This is very tricky to do because you have to, like this last one here, you, or I can just do it on my first try because that last one there, you have to hit at just the right speed, otherwise you won't hit the bump and be able to make it to the goal. 
and this one is an annoying little sucker. Uh, Long Taurus here. It reminds me of cylinders, uh, only you have to keep a more, oh shoot, steady rhythm throughout. That was not a steady rhythm right there. Um, because, like, it's, it's got the roundness and it's rotating, which means that you're constantly being thrown off track, whoops, like that, and yeah, you get the idea. Uh, I, I don't know if this is what a Taurus looks like or something like that, I've actually never heard of a Taurus to be uh, precise, and now, now when you get up here, you gotta kind of slow down your speed, so you gotta kind of like relax and gradually push yourself forward because you need you need to keep your speed up in order to stay on this thing and reach the goal like that and this next one is spasmodic oh this one's a timing based one there's these three little spinning things right at the front here and if you don't have enough speed you're either going to be or I should say, if you don't have enough speed and timing, you're going to be thrown off by these things into the abyss. Oh my god, I'm getting so lucky today. Um, so that worked out pretty well. Um, double twin, here we go. And this one is, um, it is, oof, that was, that was horrible right there. You want to go, like, onto this. Uh, the, the second one's longer than the first one. But you want to go like this and then gently pass yourself over to the center like that. And now when you go to the second one, you have to do the right side, like this. Go up the center. Ah, uh, that was bad timing on my part there again. Alright, go up the center, and then make yourself fall off. Well, I'll just do it like this. And I'll just pass over gently, like so. Pass over gently. Oh, I didn't pass over gently. Too steep, too steep. Um, but I think you get the idea with that one. Is you just have to prevent yourself from flying off to the outside by controlling your speed and descent. Uh, whenever you switch between that middle spinning thing and the outer spinning thing, whatever the heck those things are supposed to be. I, I don't know what the heck these things are. Uh, oh, I should also add that the second one is also a lot wider in that, like, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, oh, jeez, you really can't control if you fall off like that, or I should say if you, um, if you get thrown off in that fashion, hmm. So, how do I manage to do this? I'm not sure. It's probably based on speed alone. I guess we shall soon see. I probably have to keep the speed up in order to keep, like, to keep myself on this thing. Like, when I pass on over to here, or I can just fail. Maybe I should be aiming for the very outside tip of it. Like, um, so I land on a more flat surface instead of an angle. That might be the key. I've been trying to find, uh, like, the most, how do I put it, the most, uh, consistent way of beating this stage, so to speak. The most methodical way of beating it. But I haven't been having very much luck with that, as you can see, so, let's just, uh, like, I'm, I want to try and, whoops, like, I wanted to do something like that when I pass between uh, those, that thing in the center and the uh, thing on the outside, these two layers, that, that's, that's exactly what I'm trying to do there is try and get it so I bounce back onto the platform, if that makes any sense to you, like that, like that, that's perfect, that's what I'm looking for, alright, I guess that's the easiest way to do this stage, just stay on one side, beautiful, you just gotta land on it just like that, alright, this, it says it's a final stage, this is not the final stage, but this isn't an annoying stage, a really annoying stage. It's called Clock Face, and the, the key to this one is, oh shoot, I was, I was going to say the key to this one is speed, because it seems to be set up in a way that um, you can like run through the whole stage just by passing across platforms like this really quickly, the first one that you see, except for that yellow one there, avoid that yellow one there, and just go to this one, pass by these uh, clock hands there, go out of, all the way over to this side, you can see the goal is in your sight right there, there's the yellow one, here's the red one, get across, get across, dang it, uh, uh, the, the bumpers on that red one there are really, really annoying, even the bumpers on this first one can be annoying if you don't have enough speed to like pass over them, oh shoot, I'm not going to have enough... Um, I mean, I wasted too much time on this, I think. Wait, maybe not. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'm right on track. Yeah, I'm right on track. Okay, so I guess that's another way to do this stage. Um, as you can see, these platforms just, like, 
like, or, or, oh shoot, orient themselves right with you. Like, if you, if you constantly are moving forward to the first platform you see, the next one is right in sight, so you shouldn't have any trouble getting to the next platform if you just uh, plan it out nicely. Or I should say if you're fast enough to do it. Ugh. Okay, so it's all about the practice. These, these platforms aren't very thin, but they're very fast moving, so you got to time yourself well. Okay, there's the goal. Here we go. Here we go. Wait for the blue one. Pass forward and off to the left, and there we go. There is the goal. Woo! And I think, uh, well, I'll, I'll do a couple more stages in the Master EX stages. You completed without a continue. Now go to the extra devil. Okay, I, that was a unnecessary accent on, um, yeah, whatever. This is variable width, Master EX1, only 10 stages left. Um, just keep pushing forward until you get to the very end. You'll notice that those, it, like, the, it's getting thinner as you go. Well, that's because they're kind of like dropping off in layers off to the side of you. And then once you get near the end, you have to sort of push yourself over to the side and then bounce yourself into the goal. Something like that. It's, it's not that hard of a stage, it just it just takes a little bit of practice. Because oftentimes when you get to that goal, you're like right at the edge and yeah, you don't want that. Uh, now this one's called Striker. The, um, that thing in the middle is going to propel you to, to the other side. Now uh, if you look on the, this side here, the higher you get, whichever goal you pick, um, I should say the high you, higher goal you get, um, will warp you to a further stage. Since I don't want any warps, I'm going to take the bottom one. But you just go on the side of it like that, and it'll just propel you to the other side easily. It's it, it's not that hard to control or anything. It, it's actually one of the easier uh, EX Master stages. Um, this one's Ooh Parts. I don't know where the heck this name came from. Maybe this thing is is an Ooh Part or something. Um, but it's you have to kind of like have a little rhythm here. Jump in here. I should say bounce up like that and get to the goal. Pretty easy, actually, if you have the timing right. I had it right the first time, but this one, this one is, this one's a horrible one. I'm not going to lie here. Um, I am, it's, this one's really just luck-based. Because, you see, you have to bounce from one planet to the other like this. And, well, yeah, they're called planets. But the platform gets smaller as you go. And then you got to kind of get into this really small one there. And the goal... The goal itself on the planet is basically an obstacle. So, because if you ever hit the goal once, you are going to be thrown out because you're falling at such a high speed that, you know, any nick on the goal will just knock you right out. And there's a, oh shoot, there's a second goal even further down that is even harder to get. It's got an even smaller platform, it's on a smaller planet. And it is so hard to get, but it will warp you forward a couple stages. Get it if you dare, but I would recommend just aiming for the first one. Oh my goodness, I'm really flying forward. Oh my god. Oh, careful, 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 careful. Oh, 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 did I get it? Did I get it? Oh, so close. So very close. Come on, baby. We can do this. Have faith in yourself. Do not poop your diaper falling at high speeds. I already kind of pooped myself a few times, but that's okay. We can clean up later. We will make it. We can do this. It is the eye of the tiger. Holy poopers! Ah! So hard to land on that land on that little spot because there's, I mean, there's there's so little landing area and so many ways that you can mess up. Um, because the top of the goal is wider than the bottom, it's as wide as the landing area as, as well. So you have to land either in front of it or behind it. I would recommend landing in front of it, definitely. Oh my god, no! I hit the... See, that's what I meant about the goal being as wide as the platform. I nicked the side of it and it threw me off, so... Oh well. Let's give this another shot. That's all I can do, obviously. <laughs> Otherwise, there will be no progress whatsoever. Uh, in my original run of this, um, my original footage, I got this on my first shot, which is incredibly lucky. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh! This is a very intense stage, because it's like, oh, I, I really want to do this, but it takes so much concentration to angle yourself. 
it's just like, am I gonna get it this time? I don't know, but it's certainly fun to try! Well, some people might get frustrated at this, and, and you know, it's not fun for them to try it, but oh, I hit the ball! Oh, dang you, party ball, you are the bane of my existence. But, I think I'm gonna have to cut it for now, so I'll see you guys in the next part.